Hello, my name is Michelle Hausbeck, and I am the owner and creative strategist with Hausbeck Brand, a creative company. We have two core service areas. First, execution. We help businesses develop, design, manage, and market their brands. And second, communications. We go into corporations and help train, consult, or deliver keynote speeches like the one you're about to hear. Let me ask you guys a question. Have you ever paid attention to the process that you go through as a consumer when you're looking to purchase something? From the very beginning where there's an idea in your head of something that you want to get or a service that you want to hire? Or what about those times, and I'm sure you guys have all done this, those impulse purchases, whether it's online or, or waiting at the grocery store, waiting to check out. Have you ever paid attention to what goes through your brain? Probably not, because a lot of this happens in our subconscious mind. This is what we call in the marketing industry the consumer journey. Now there are a ton of things that are involved with this, and I could probably speak for a week straight <laughs> on all the intricacies that really make an effective consumer journey. But I wanna simplify it for you today. There are four main things that you need to achieve to have a successful consumer journey, whether you're B2C or B2B. Either one of those, you are still reaching out for somebody to come into your business and hopefully at the end, purchase. So if you remember these four letters, this should help. So we have S, F, E, and A. S, F, E, A. Let's pretend that we're at a networking event. And I walk up to you and I say, hi, my name's Michelle Hausbeck. It is my job to help companies put their best foot forward. I'm gonna let that sink in for a second. My job is to help companies put their best foot forward. What is running through your mind right now? Because of the way that I am dressed and presenting myself to you. Are you confused? Are you thinking, what the heck is she doing coming to a networking event dressed like this? Are you finding yourself having a really hard time believing that that's my job, to help people put their best foot forward when this is how I'm dressing? I'm sure there's some distress, too, happening in your subconscious right now. You know what you're doing right now? You are judging me. What's for dinner? What are you having for dinner tonight? Is that a tough question in your household? Is there debate? Are there feelings that get hurt? <laughs> I know in my household, the what's for dinner question sometimes is so exhausting that we end up just making a bowl of soup or grabbing some cereal. We are inundated with choices every single day. Some of them we make completely subconsciously and don't even know that we're doing it, such as driving. It's so ingrained in us, we just do what we do. Others are, what's for dinner? It can be challenging at times. What am I gonna wear? 
You know, do I want to go grocery shopping today or tomorrow? <laughs> Our lives are filled with choices. At really, everything that we do is a choice. I'm standing here today because I chose to. No one forced me to. What about those hard choices in life? Or what about those choices that we're faced with with no doing of our own? Or what about situations that we got into thinking the choice was great, that this is gonna be such a positive thing, and then later on down the line, we find out, not so much. Then we're faced with another choice. What do we do? I am a firm believer that we all have a choice in this life, meaning regardless of the situation that we are in, whether we put ourselves there or not, we can choose to change it. We can choose to get through. We can choose to get out. One of my favorite quotes is by Stephen Covey. I am not a product of my circumstance. I am a product of my decision.